Mr. Castro, a message from the United States Senate. Let Alan Gross go. Let him go today. Let him go now. Let him come back to the country where, that will welcome him back and in the arms of his loving wife, Judy, who has fought so hard to bring him back to us. Mr. Castro, you are illegally holding him on a trumped up charge against his own will to the devastation of his health and to your devastation in the standing of the world. I am proud to join on a bipartisan basis with my colleagues to offer a resolution that I hope will unanimously pass the Senate that says, let Alan Gross go. He has done no one any harm. He is not a threat to the national security of Cuba, and he is in dire need of medical attention and the love of his own family. I'm proud to stand with Judy, who is a tireless, unrelenting, persistent voice for the liberation of her own husband. Now, Castro, I talk about the liberation of the poor and the marginalized and dispossessed. He's been talking about that for 50 years. If he wants to deal with liberation, liberate Alan Gross. The story has been told. We know it three years ago. There was Alan working, a brother social worker that I admired, out there trying to bring the internet primarily to the Jewish residents in Cuba so that they would have access to information and to a free world. What was so threatening about that? Wow, access to freedom, access to information. No wonder they grabbed him and scooped him up. But this man did nothing wrong. The Cuban government knew what he was doing and they found it unacceptable. Well, we find it unacceptable that he's been held there for three years. Even at the time, as his own health has deteriorated, as his own mother had cancer, as his own daughter had health challenges, as his wife faced surgery, they wouldn't even let him go. We have worked hard on this with Judy. She has been just an outstanding advocate for her husband. And I put you right up there with Mrs. Sharansky. And your voice will be heard through the ages. That if you don't stand up for the people you love, then who are you going to stand up for? But we love the fact that our countrymen is being, that we have the right in the Senate to call for this man's release. We've worked on a bipartisan basis. I'm going to thank Senator Moran and others who've worked so tirelessly on this, people like Senator Durbin, who've also actually visited him in prison. We've reached out within our own colleagues in government to other embassies, even to papal authorities themselves, to raise this on an international agenda, because this is a humanitarian, this is a great humanitarian cause. I will be voting today for this, but no matter how, and I believe the vote will pass, but we need to be tireless. And Mr. Castro, if you want to improve your standing in the world, you can do it this afternoon. Let Alan Gross just go and let him come back to America. Thank you.